In more detail, the first problem that you may be having is your drivetrain. What the drivetrain means is this whole system of your chain, cassette, and derailleur. When those are worn, the teeth don't clench on to the cassette well enough for it to give it torque on the wheel. So when these teeth are worn or missing, the chain will just skip out of place into other places or into the next gear that may be your first problem that occurs because of not maintaining your chain uh, and not changing it every I believe 500 recommended miles on your chain the next problem that may occur with is when you don't oil your chain enough this teeth and your chain will also spread open and just wear down so that this system won't work properly so make sure that you always keep your chain oiled and you change your chain every recommended 500 miles or so. The next problem would be just with the chain. When you have a, a link that is not moving correctly, that is sticking or maybe a little too tight, that will get stuck in your derailleur causing the chain to skip as well. On this bike, as you see, everything's moving smoothly. But when there is a problem with the chain not bending correctly, this derailleur is going to be pushed up and just make your chain skip. The way you check for that is by pedaling backwards. As you're pedaling backwards, if you notice any kind of skips on your derailleur, that would indicate that you have issues with your chain. As you see with this chain, everything is moving smoothly and there is no bad links in here. The way to fix this problem right away, uh, just at home, is by turning it again backwards. Once you find the spot where the link is being or giving you the problems, what you want to do is you want to grab it let's say for example it was this link right here what you want to do is just grab it wiggle it manually left to right like this opening up the links and making sure that it moves properly if, the, if that's still not working out for you then you may want to use some WD-40 to loosen it up um, don't leave the WD-40 in as lubricant WD-40 is only um, there for loosening parts and as a degreaser so after you, you have fixed that issue of making your links all smooth, then what you want to do is regrease the chain and make sure that you remove all the WD-40 before you regrease the chain when chain loop. To show you what a freely moving chain does is that all the links on there are very flexible and you could punch them up like that and everything's moving freely. and your chain is free to move to the derailleurs very easily. A non-moving chain is something like this where this is really hard I'm putting pressure on there and it just doesn't move. So this does not allow the chain to flex or move through the derailleurs. So what you want to do is you want to move them around Bend them side to side like this, up and down, to where they become a little bit more flexible. This one's pretty tough. And if that doesn't work, you 
you could bring it to your bike shop and have them look at your chain or if you have a chain breaker you can use the back side of the chain to make the spaces bigger the back side of the chain breaker chain there is to fix this problem what it does is it presses against the chain and these two little spots there hold the chain in place as you push it open and then that should give you a freely moving chain so you want to do that to both sides you find a spot where it's, where it's give you issues put it on the back of the chain breaker and you just turn it where you see you can actually see the space there being created there giving your chain a chance to move now you see that now your chain moves freely Another common issue with the Raiders, such as the Shimano SIS, is the length here or the distance between the chain and the cassette. I find that with this Shimano SIS shift uh, derailleur, there's always uh, issues with skipping because of the amount of space between the derailleur and the cassette that you see here. I find that because this specific model doesn't come up far enough where I would I would like it to be like this I find that because it, it doesn't come up as much this, there's a lot of skip issues with this one another example of issues with skipping is the railer adjustment so on here when you, when you shift to the first gear the shifter doesn't shift right away and then you hear that so at this point you either have to take it to your local bike shop or um, adjust it yourself by tightening up this cable here a little bit so then at the first click your gear shifts correctly it's like so